Welcome back to Forest Firearms, everybody. I'm Ivan, and today we're going to have a World War I special. So I've been playing some Battlefield 1 lately, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have been. And I realized I have two of the pistols that the Central Powers used, and normally rated the two best that the Central Powers used during World War I. What we have here today is, so this is my 1916. DWM Luger, all matching, even the grips when I took them off matched, all the internal parts match, Luger P08, this one um, was a bring back, it has no import marks, has all the Kaiser marks, um, indicative of being issued during World War I, obviously, it has not been refinished, so it has a little bit of wear in some spots, but you can still see some of the straw bluing on you know, the trigger, the magazine release. This is just a beautiful pistol. Original grips, like I said. And this is the real deal. This is really from World War I, 1916, and puts it right in there. And for the magazines I have for it, is I do have actually a Waffenamt World War II magazine. It has the Nazi Waffenamts on it. This pistol uh, magazine actually came with it. Um, I'm not sure how they met, but they did meet. And I have one of these new Metgar um, Luger magazines. It actually works great. It's actually a really nice magazine. Um, um, as much as I can, I try not to beat up too much of my historical stuff. So this is kind of my beater magazine. And over here we have my Steyrhan M1912. This is actually a post-war model. As you guys can see, Steyr 1919. Um, who knows where this pistol has been, but it's definitely been around. It has the post-war grips on it. Um, the original World War I grips would have been more similar to this kind of checkering. But I will get some grips for it, but I couldn't wait to make the video. This one's a little bit different, where this is a, a magazine, detachable magazine-fed um, pistol. This is actually an integral magazine-fed pistol with stripper clips. Um, a different system, a lot like the Mauser broom handle. Um, this is my first day I've had this guy out. I got 50 rounds for it from a company, and the rounds did not fit the gun. Um, when they produced the rounds, um, they did not check them good enough. So I've had to hand bevel and fit every single round that I've shot today. So I definitely am not a professional at that, so we might have some loading problems. I ended up greasing some of the rounds to help them feed because I think I should have polished them better. Um, but I thought, let's set up kind of a scenario that we kind of do a trench assault, like hopping trench to trench while guys are coming in. Two rounds on target and a total of 10 hits. I have 16 rounds, so I have six chances to miss. And see which one I can finish faster with. I have a lot more experience with the Luger, but... The Steyrhan has always had some cool factor to me. Um, and a lot of people say it was the second best pistol in the Central Powers. And I want to see, as long as it runs correctly, um, is that the truth? Is the stripper clip loading really that much of a detriment compared to a magazine? Uh, detachable magazine fed pistol? We will see. So, Thomas... If you have the shop, shot timer, timer ready, let's just give it a go. I'm actually going to run it in this um, 45 shoulder holster. Because it is the only holster I have at the moment that does fit it. Um, actually, first, let's go through the loading. So what you would do is you cock it back. As you can see, it's actually a rotating barrel, kind of like the PX4 Storm Beretta. Um... Um, locking system it rotates and it's not a browning design or even like the Luger's a toggle lock design it is a rotating barrel design so first things first grab your ears lock it back then you want to lock the slide with your slide stop and safety you take eight of your stripper clips eight rounds on your stripper clip set it in there thumb them in discard the stripper clip, and now we're ready to roll. So I'm going to put on the safety, keep it away as much as I can, 
put it in the holster, grab my extras, put it just I'll put them in my, in my back pocket actually. And let's get to it guys. Okay, is the shot timer ready? Okay, like I said, I'm gonna be engaging it two rounds from each position. Let's just see how it goes. Whenever the beep's ready, Thomas. You missed your start. I missed it? Okay, give it one more time. Okay guys, so that was a little bit rough. As you guys can see, I'm gonna eject that round. You could also, with that button on the side, hoop, right in the dirt, spit out your extras. So that's the first time I've ever run this gun in a kind of more dynamic situation, where um, I use a stripper clip under pressure. Now if I'm just sitting there loading it, it goes in pretty quick. As you guys can see, I kind of started fiddling with it. Lost some rounds, so I had to single load them. That took some time. And um, it was failing to go into battery. So I was having to almost every shot force it back into battery. We'll see if that's really indicative the more that I shoot it of the design, but I think it has to do with my ammo choice that I've been using. It's, it's all kind of hodgepodge, but not too bad. I could at least get it through the... the um, the course, at least. So let's try out that Luger. And I believe we had a bit of an issue with the shot timer. Um, oh, did you? I, the best I can get is that you maybe had about a 95 second run uh, it did seem to count the shots accurately, but I may have stopped it stumbling on the way following you. Well, that's okay. We'll have to use the time um, at a different look at a different video. Um, let's just see from my perspective what I thought what I think is easier with the Luger. Okay, thank you Thomas. So for the Luger, toggle lock system, so you pull back on that bracket, that's your safety, and then you're ready to roll. So I'm actually going to start with this magazine, magazine in, bracket, you can see it has a loaded chamber indicator on there, and we are loaded, safety on, put this magazine in my pocket. And let's go for it. Okay, I'll just, without the shot timer, because we're having some problems with it, I'll just give it a run. Ready? Yep.
Okay, well, I just shot it a little more this time. Oddly enough, I've shot the Luger a lot more, and the manual of arms is easier in my opinion. It has the detachable box magazine, everything to get a hold of is easy. But I actually was hitting better with that Steyr, even though I had to fumble through it. That's some problems with the, that particular gun that I have to weed out. But I don't know if it's how the sights are set up, but the Luger I found when I'm kind of rushing, it has nice sights but small sights. When I'm rushing, I have a tendency to pull it aside. So, this is kind of a first shots video, especially for both these pistols. But we will have to revisit this another time. And I'm excited to do that. Well, I'm Ivan with Forest Firearms. I'll catch you later.